When you install Clippage Keyboard, one of the steps you're instructed to do is to turn on the Allow Full Access setting. This setting is required because Clippage Keyboard pulls images from our servers. If you don't turn this option on, then iOS will not allow Clippage Keyboard access to the internet, so no images will be pulled down. When you turn this option on, however, iOS displays a very scary warning. It says that the developers of the app could track your keystrokes and might have access to things you enter, such as credit card numbers. This warning sounds very alarming, and the same warning is displayed by iOS when allowing full access to any keyboard app, not just Clippish Keyboard. However, in this video, we'll show you why this warning does not apply to Clippish Keyboard, and that you can feel very safe in turning this option on. Let's quit settings and run Safari, and go to an example of a page that asks you to enter credit card information. Let's tap on the input box to bring up the keyboard. As you can see, you would use your regular keyboard to enter in your credit card information. The Clippish Keyboard app does not see or have any access to anything that you're typing because you're not using Clippish Keyboard at this point nor do you ever use Clippish Keyboard for any text typing. Let's go ahead and pull up the Clippish Keyboard. And as you can see, all you do in this app is you tap for different images. You don't use it for actual typing, so there are no keystrokes to capture. The only time you actually type anything in Clippish Keyboard is when you go to search and you type in a search term such as funny. That information Clippish Keyboard sees, but you don't use it for entering things like credit card numbers, so it never sees that. Again, you would go back to your regular keyboard to enter in credit card information.